looks like it was written by Alex Jones or Roger Stone. Do you stand by that statement? Yes. So you agree that there may be systemic racism? To the extent, in, in, in where? where? Uh, let me continue my line of questioning. I, I don't agree that there's systemic racism. Specifically, generally in this country. You take an aggressive approach to Black Lives Matter protests, but not to right-wing extremists threatening to lynch a governor if it's for the Trump's, if it's for the president's benefit. Did I get it right, Mr. Barr? I have responsibility for the federal government, <laughs> and the White House is the seat of the Mr. Barr, let me just make it clear: you are the, supposed the to Michigan authorities the can handle of the United Michigan States authorities of America, handle, not violate people's First Amendment <laughs> rights. You are supposed to uphold democracy and secure equal justice under the law, not violently dismantle certain protesters based on the president's you personal said, agenda. That a president swapping a pardon to silence a witness would be a crime. You were promising the American people that if you saw that, you would do something about it. Is that right? That's right. Now, Mr. Barr, are you investigating Donald Trump for commuting the prison sentence of his longtime friend and political advisor, Roger Stone? No. Why not? Why should I? Can you commit today that the department will not use federal law enforcement as a prop in the president's re-election campaign? We are not I using federal law enforcement. I just want to close with this thought. You really can't hide behind legal fictions this time, Mr. Barr. It's all out in the open, where the people can see what you are doing for themselves. The president wants footage for his campaign ads, and you appear to be serving it up to him as ordered. Mr. Barr, during a radio interview this spring with Hugh Hewitt, you praised President Trump's coronavirus response as superb, correct? Who did? You did. <laughs> Over 150,000 Americans have died. More than 4 million Americans have been infected. More than 5 million Americans have lost their health care. Over 100,000 small businesses have permanently closed. More than 50 million Americans are out of work. This is not the outcome of superb leadership. What we've gotten from Donald Trump is exactly the opposite. Well, Let's that. explore. Well, I disagree with that. that, that is it ever appropriate, sir, for the president to solicit or accept foreign assistance in an election? It depends what kind of assistance. Is it ever <laughs> appropriate for the president or presidential candidate to accept or solicit foreign assistance of any kind in his or her election? No, it's not appropriate. Okay. okay. Sorry you had to struggle with that one, Mr. Attorney General. If it is very clear that the president has lost an election, uh, does he have a remedy to contest the election? Not that I'm aware of. Do you commit to making sure the Department of Justice does not get involved in a contested uh, election, yes or no? I will follow the law. I now recognize the ranking member of the Judiciary Committee, the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Jordan, for his opening statement. Spying. <laughs> that one word. That's why they're after you, Mr. Attorney General. Fifteen months ago, April 10th, 2019, in a Senate hearing, you said this sentence, quote, I think spying on a political campaign is a big deal. Spying on a political campaign is a big deal. It sure is. And since that day, since that day, when you had the courage to state the truth, they attack you. They've been attacking you every since, every day, every week, for simply stating the truth that the Obama-Biden administration spied on the Trump campaign. One year ago, New York Times headline said this. One year ago. Quote, FBI investigator posing as assistant to meet with Trump aide in 2016. The FBI sent a young lady who used the name Azra Turk to meet Papadopoulos in September of 2016. I sent someone pretending to be someone else to meet a person associated with the Trump campaign. You know what they call that? You know what they call that? Spying. One month later, October 2016, they used the dossier to spy on Carter Page. A salacious, unverified dossier, Jim Comey's words, not mine. They took it to the FISA court, didn't tell the courts that the Clintons paid for it, didn't tell the court that the guy who wrote the document, Christopher Steele, had already communicated to the I want to thank you for defending law enforcement. Out, what crazy idea this defund the police I, uh, policy, whatever you want to call it is, and standing up for the rule of law. Frankly, we have a video we want to show that gets right to this point. Can we play that video, please?
fresh. Oh, all right, I'm all oh. ready. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.